everybody. We're gonna give everybody a minute to get on here. Um, obviously, I'm coming to you live from the road on my way home from Tennessee from the Great Smoky Mountain Jeep Invasion. Um, I'm gonna give everybody just a second here to get on. And I'm gonna try and follow along with the questions here best I can. Don't hold it against me. Let's see uh, what we've got as people start to get on. There we go. Looks like people are jumping on here. That's good. All right. Um, man, it's been a heck of a trip. It's uh, been a whirlwind of a couple of weeks here. I uh, drove almost a thousand miles yesterday just trying to work my way back to California. We've uh, knock on wood. Good right here. Had good luck with tires and no mechanical issues. That's been good. I do want to talk about trailer tires and you know kind of what we've discovered over the years. We'll, we'll get into that in a little bit. But mainly, I want to get into what is this Smoky Mountain Jeep Invasion and what's it all about. And so I want to give you guys a little bit of a recap. Um, I see Dave Cundy on there, that's awesome. Rick Harrington, awesome, yeah. This is Williams, yes, of course. If you've ever been across the 40 in Arizona. So we took the 40 all the way to Tennessee. Um, it's a pretty straight shot um, in there um, in Gatlinburg or Pigeon Forge, if you're familiar with that area at all. Um, this, this event was huge. And uh, fortunately, you guys all know how fond I am of the train in Simi Valley. It just went by, so we should be clear for this broadcast. So um, there's VB Tom. He, he joined me out there, him and Esther, a um, couple of our ambassadors, which was awesome. Uh, Jeff Lorne, um, of course, Jeff Perkins was with me. We had Peter, uh, Peter Doolin out there with his Maximus Jeep. Um, you know, that awesome, it was our first Tracer build, in fact. Um, who else did we have out there? Oh, we had... Uh, the birds, Steve and Tammy Bird were out there too. Super helpful, everybody was great. It was it was great to have everybody in the booth and be able to spend time with some of our own folks that host the Jeep nights around the country. So um, <laughs> there's Steve right there. Hey Steve. <laughs> so um, anyways, I, it was interesting to me because I ran into several people that watched the Tech Talk, this Tech Talk, and uh, a couple people came over and go, man, it was great that you just did the slip yoke eliminator on the 231. Like I've been needing to do that. And now that I saw it, I'm ready to do it, you know? So I'm um, in lots of questions just over and over. And I'm, I'm glad it's such a good resource for everybody. Um, I sure enjoy doing it, you know, talking about my favorite subject too. So it's pretty cool. Um, hopefully everybody can hear me. Okay. I, I don't, don't see any complaints. So lots of hellos. Thanks everybody. It's always good to, to uh, see everybody on the other side of the screen. And uh, I really appreciate everybody watching the Tech Talk. So let's see, we got a couple of things I wanna tell you. Um, as you know, uh, Jeff and I left, Jeff Perkins, one of my sales guys, we left and went out to uh, Tennessee with these two Jeeps, let's spin around. And uh, we brought out what was the bow tie and now called Tuxedo and uh, Aftershock. So a um, couple of our, you know, top of the line Jeeps that are clean. And uh, this one just got, you know, our TJ to LJ stretch on it, which is a big thing for us. That's something I've been wanting to do for 10 years. And uh, I'm super excited about it. I've got them in stock. They're ready to go. It's, it's the frame section. It's the all aluminum interior cargo area. And if you're looking for it on our website, you just go to TJ suspension and then you'll see tj to lj and it'll um open that up for you this this was the most talked about jeep at the entire show it it was um what everybody wanted to do it it brings life back to a built tj in a way that makes it super relevant today you know as far as an lj goes so you get and and you know keep in mind we're not just doing 103 we're going 115. So you're really, you're jumping all the way to like today's Tracer wheelbase um, and almost like a four-door JK. So uh, this is really like the hot setup right now. 
originally designed to be done with our legend suspension since we have been selling those for 15 years but it will work with a tracer suspension or some variation thereof so um this this thing just really turned out nice if you didn't get to see it on some of our prior posts it's got the carbon fiber hood um, we did the high fenders on it we did our flak jackets we you know did the stretch those are lj corners that's a true lj top that's the best top track top and then it's got a true lj cage in there so you can run the factory hard top soft top um, whatever you know you want on there and um, it, it really um, turned out nice so with a 26 gallon gas tank and then of course my main thing on Aftershock, although it has our EXS suspension, which is the latest and greatest for JL, my main thing was the cage. I, I really wanted to show everybody the production roll cage with the removable. You can see the B pillars back on there. So even though it comes off and you run the half doors, we put it back on to seal it all up for the road trip. We've had all kinds of weather on the way back. So, um, you know, it's one of those things where it's nice to be able to button it up. Um, Let's see. Uh, let me uh, see if I can keep up with pictures here. Uh, yeah, Andrew's saying a lot of people called in about it. That's great. Um, let's see. Um, I'll, I'll see if I can scan these questions here real quick. Yeah, Cord, we're a bit past. We're, we're in Williams right now um, and with the intention to keep going. Um, this, I just had to stop for uh, this broadcast because it's five o'clock. So at least here on the West Coast. And um, yeah, lots of familiar names here. Awesome. Um, Sam is on there too. And uh, hopefully Anthony Paquette, um, Steve Burr, yeah, Tom Nagley. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of the regulars, Craig Colbert. Awesome to see everybody on there. Appreciate it. So um, the other thing I wanted to do in addition to, you know, describing this, we were there to support Mickey Thompson, which was awesome. Um, they had a great booth, an outside booth. So there's there's a big inside convention center, and then there's an equally big outside area where all the vendors are set up. They do do installations there, so you can buy the parts and have them put right on, kind of like Sturgis. That's how they do it for the Harleys. This was huge. I, I, didn't, I didn't hear a total number of how many were there, but there was not a parking spot to be had for miles. Um, it was packed. The booths were busy and um, the weather was nice. You know, it was, it was a great area. If you've never been there to Pigeon Forge, I would describe it as like a East Coast Las Vegas. I mean, it was, it's a wild little town, all kinds of themes and places to go and live music and just super fun. Um, so that was great. And then, you know, you're there with a bunch of like-minded Jeep people and it is a Jeep invasion. The every night people are out cruising, meet and greet, you know, I mean, it's, everybody that owns a jeep is out and about so it's it's really cool and that goes to like midnight every night so um it's it's quite quite the to do so that's that's cool um let's see uh, somebody asked what my next event is that's going to be trail hero uh, but i, I want to get back to um great smoky mountain um one of the things i wanted to show you guys was uh my buddy over at American Iron that does the ball joint deletes sent me back with a couple of new things. And, uh, Josh is the guy over there if you ever call in. And um, I'm, I'm a big fan of these ball joint deletes. I put them on Terramoto and uh, they are pretty slick. So he was showing me that um, yeah, that they came up with a new version that presses in. So um, this is the lower and this is the upper. And they've, they've got a way now with this little sleeve to keep everything from overloading the bearing. Um, these are really uh, high-end bolts. I mean, just, you know, a lot of, a lot of design and effort went into these things. Now this is obviously for uh, Dana 60 but he's also got them for 44s, 30s, basically all the axles. Um, it's American iron. You can find them on Facebook. You can find them, uh, you know, 
it, just Google and, and get these things. Um, really nice American made product. So I encourage everybody to check these out. Um, I'm gonna put these in a set of knuckles and get them either on this or back on Terramoto. I've already got a set on Terramoto, but they were the weld-in ones. So um, those are a bit more complicated to install. It takes a really good welder in order to do that. So um, yeah, anyways, check those out when you get a chance. There's, uh, there's little seals in here and everything. He was showing me the whole deal um, when we were pushing this stuff apart right here. You can see how there's little seals and everything to keep the bearings clean. So when you, you know, push this in, it all seals up and then you crank this down. So, um, and this has more engagement, he told me, than the welding one did. So I, I think he's been stepping in the right direction. I'm not really happy to uh, see that kind of development going. So let me get back over to questions here and see if uh, anybody's got anything. If, uh, if you asked a question earlier, you might want to re-ask it so I can uh, keep up. It's hard for me to go all the way back. Um, yes, I did travel with the half doors. So um, Tuxedo's got them. The half doors for Aftershock are in here. We only use this for transportation. So um, just because we got some hellacious storms on the way. Um, oh. Yeah, let's talk about trailers for a second while, while I'm looking for other. Um, one of the things I wanted to show you guys was a while ago, I found these all steel tires. And uh, this is a 14 ply tire that is um, rated for 91 miles an hour and over 4,000 pounds per tire. So I was going to make a recommendation to everybody. You know, you. It's really easy to look up a tire and go, well, you know, four of these times, you know, the weight of my trailer or my Jeep, you know, it sounds about right. I want you to almost double it. So these tires here, give me the, it would be rated for 32,000 pounds. I'm carrying like 18,000. So you, you want it, at, if, you just, if you can get double, hit it. Um, because trailer tire problems on the road are no fun. And uh, yeah, these are a little bit more expensive. I think they're like 200 a tire, but if you're buying $100 tires over and over again, it's just like Genrite. You know, you've, you've already spent the money, man. Do it right the first time. So uh, let's see what else we got. So how, the, the question is, how do we run the uh, five lug on the one ton axles? So I, I know it's a little bit deceiving, this is five on five and a half. This is the original CJ pattern or, or what I call Jeep pattern. Um, it's the only thing that'll fit over the big Dana 60 hub. And um, these are special done for us at Curry. Um, I know that Dynatrack offers them. A lot of the aftermarket companies offer them. And part of the reason I like it is it's a much more standard wheel. Um, the brake package is, um, better sized for the master cylinder that's on the vehicle. And um, overall, the whole fit and finish is a lot better. So um, it's plenty, you know, this thing has amazing brakes. Um, with the standard brake booster, you can lock up these 40s no problem. So um, that's that's one of the reasons we've gone with that. And I've, I've been on that for, man, almost 20 years. And uh, it works great. And we, even our Ultra 4 race car, has that on there so um, we know it holds up and it's, it's really good so yeah VB Tom <laughs> expensive or cheap yeah like it's it's one of those things everybody everybody that's on can read that um, these tires are 235 85 16 so to get the, the heavier rating you got to go to a 16 so if you have the ability to get away from that 15 inch wheel get up to a 16 and you'll be doing yourself a favor. Um, I'm telling you, I think these tires right here have gone across, the, you know, back and forth across the country um, at least a handful of times already. So, um, you know, and they're doing great. It's just one of those things you, you got to do it right. Um, let's see what else we got. 
Okay, those wheels, these are um, the Raceline Avenger. And uh, on both, both Jeeps have the same thing. Um, the, uh, you can see that there's a little bit of a arc to them. I don't know if you can zoom in on that. There's a little bit of a curve to them. And um, I think I'm running four and a half or four and three quarter backspace. And uh, Raceline's known for having a lot more beadlock bolts than some of the other brands. Um, it's, it's a good wheel. It's, I, it's priced right. They're available, which is hard to say for just about everything else. Um, so, and then we just had them powder coated. I, I had these sent out for red and those sent out for blue. That's a king blue. Yeah, yeah. The you know a lot of people are going to eight lug, um, mostly because that's what you get with a junkyard axle, right? Just it's out of a one-ton truck, so you get the eight lug. Um, I don't know if you ever looked at the brakes and stuff on there. Some people go, "Oh, these are beefy," but they're actually way overkill for what you need. So um, it's one of those things where we try and keep everything, you know, compact and light and clean and working properly with the brake booster that's built into the Jeep, so just something to keep in mind. Um, what else? If, if you guys haven't seen this Jeep, the other thing that we did was our, uh, you know, we, we adapted our taillights on here. It's not a cheap adapter, what we call a bezel, but it is pretty cool. And, uh, you know, it's one of those things that if you're looking to go with LED taillights, that's pretty good. We had a lot of people checking out the tire carrier. It's like the only one that doesn't rattle or open by itself. Um, let's see what else we got. Yeah, you can get powder coated wheels straight from Raceline for a slight upcharge. It, it may not be the color you want there. That you don't get to like check a color wheel or anything, but they do. You can get some colors from them as well. Um, let's see what else we got here. Yeah, keep asking those questions because I'm having trouble scrolling back and forth. Um, what else did I, oh, I was going to mention um, when Jeff and I were on our way back to Tennessee, we forgot to get fitted for our tuxedos before we left. So we had to stop in Albuquerque because Jamie's wedding's coming up, my son. And uh, so we stopped, got our fittings, and then kept going. So that was kind of fun. Um, like I said, the, it, was, it was hot. It was warm while we were there in Tennessee, but it, it was good. Um, thanks for the wishes for safe travel and stuff. Woohoo, Trail Hero, yeah, that's coming up. Um, and of course, you know, that's one of those events, guys, that I invite you to come wheel with us. I invite you to come talk to us. I, you know, we're going to have a lot of Generite people there. And, uh, you know, you can meet everybody, talk to us, get a ride with us. I mean, there, there's a lot of options where you can really see these vehicles up close and uh, get a feel for, you know, what it is we do. Um, one of the reasons that I wanted to bring these two vehicles all the way back there was to show people there is a difference. When you see these vehicles up close and then you walk around the rest of the show, there, there's no question the quality on Genride. It's, it's way above everything else out there and uh, right down to the brake lines. And um, if you've never seen it up close, you, you need to do yourself a favor and check it out because you do get what you pay for. So it's one of those things. Um, what else we got here? I know I was chatting with uh, Sam Walker about bolts and bolt grades and lube and all kinds of stuff. We, we had done a tech talk on bolts a while back and I'm pretty sure um, one of the, if you go to our website and hit the tech talk tab, um, we've got a whole PDF that you can download in there that shows you all the torque ratings and everything for the different bolts and uh, with and without lube so um, that's that's always a good thing to check out uh, yeah I see Laura on there that's awesome what else we got here we should just do a slow walk around so people can ask questions of course you know this is the best top track top King Shocks with the 
remote reservoir, warm winch. Now, I don't know if you guys have followed me for a long time on Bowtie, which is now Tuxedo. Um, originally, I built this with a 70 in the front and a 70 in the rear because my goal was to put a V8 in this at some point. Um, we never got there yet. Um, stock motor only has, I think, 80,000 rigid miles. It still runs great. So, um, yeah, that's down the road. We're going to continue to to build this out. The other one that I want everybody to keep an eye on is my my little uh, four shock, our white YJ build, our budget build. Um, our plan is to get that out and go wheel the Rubicon here pretty quick, and um, just show everybody that you know I don't always have to drive an expensive Jeep. I can hop in a fifteen thousand dollar Jeep and wheel the Rubicon just as well. So. We're gonna have a lot of fun doing that as, as well and i did meet a lot of people that uh, did say that um, us working on that yj really inspired them to dust off their old yj and start fixing it up so that was that was pretty cool too you know the the general consensus with a lot of people is that the gen right parts are just super expensive and um but you know keep in mind you get what you pay for and it's american made um, and not everything we do is expensive. We've got, you know, hood louvers for 60 bucks. We've got inner fender wells for, you know, a couple hundred bucks. We've got all kinds of stuff that, that we make and sell license plate frames and uh, even a front license plate adapter that Peter was showing on, on Maximus. Um, we've got all kinds of things for under a hundred bucks. And then you can go to our, our website too. And we've even got like gift ideas where you can go in and it's categorized by price. So um, there are a lot of things. Um, now, the reality is we're, we're the company you want if you're done messing around and you're ready to do it right for the last time. That's Genrite. Remember, it's genuine ideas engineered right. That's Genrite, that's what it's short for. So um, don't forget that and uh, we're, we're always happy to help people move their build in the direction they want to go and, and call in and talk to my guys and we can help you step through that um, affordably over time um, or we even offer some financing so um, you know we're, we're here to help you do whatever you need to do keep in mind um, I do want to remind everybody our sale that we're having right now runs through Monday and this the prices you're seeing right now on our website are the same price I had five years ago. So you haven't seen these prices in a long time. And uh, I, we don't do a sale very often, that's for sure. I don't think we've done one in a few years. So this is a great opportunity to pick up the Genrite parts you've been thinking about. And again, you can finance them or whatever you want to do. So uh, let's see what else we have. I know my shipping guys said they were doing really good and keeping up with orders. So that's cool. Yes, we. Uh, this was the only place we could park. My plan was to go across, um, but right when we got here, the train came through, a super long one, and there was no way I could get to the other side and everything before the five o'clock hour. So I just parked here. Boy, people are pretty observant. That's awesome. Um, what was my favorite part of the event? Um, I really liked the social aspect. Now, you know, there, there was everything there under the sun, you know, um, lighted, you know, crap that goes inside your wheels and, you know, uh, air, sh stuff I didn't even know they freaking made, right, for Jeeps. Um, and then all the way to, you know, stuff like Genrite. So, you know, I liked the social aspect. I liked how it got people from, you know, I saw license plates from everywhere. And it was really cool to get all those people there, um, have a chance to interact with them, find out what's important to them answer their questions and that's why i go to these things to talk to people to you know see what they're doing to, to hear what they're trying to accomplish to hear what their challenges are you know whether it's on the road or off road or you know all those things so i can kind of guide them in the right direction um but, but i but i know for sure by bringing these vehicles there and being able to like crawl under and say look at where the drive shaft is look at the angle of the links look at the shocks look at how we do everything and they're, they're shaking their head just going yeah like i had no idea i'm so glad i got to see this by the way i probably had over 100 people come up to me and say 
They had no intention of coming to that event, but when they heard I was there, they wanted to come see Jen Wright and come talk to me. So that that's a that's a huge impact, at least for me, to hear something like that. That um, you know, people really respect what we're doing and the quality and the American made again. Uh, by the way, that's no easy task, everybody, um, to, to do that these days. Um, everything is against us as a small business, so uh, we're, we're doing our darndest to uh, crank out the best product at the most affordable price. So. And, you know, I, um, I got asked over and over again why we don't offer a lower grade suspension, and I, I just, I feel bad about offering that to the market when I know it's not good. So um, I just, I don't want to do it, you know. I'd, I'd rather not sell something than sell something like that. So um, in, my, in my opinion, like, take a look around and, and what else you do. Have you got a boat or you belong to a country club? If jeeping's your thing, get rid of all that crap and spend the money on your jeep and build it right. So, I mean, I don't know how else to put it. Or get another job or something. So make your wife work. Sorry. I know, I know when I met a lot of people at the show, their wives said they can always hear me talking in the background on Wednesday, so that might have not been a very popular comment. A lot of people are laughing though, thank you. Um, so yes, these, these are the four inch wide fenders. So we make this front fender in a high fender like you're seeing right here and a standard version. That rear flare is, um, what some people refer to as a modified comp. Do we need to get closer? A modified comp um, where, where it tucks back down in the back. We call it an EXT. So, or we make the full flare um, standard. And you know, we do these in steel and aluminum, um, but I'll be honest, nobody buys steel anymore. Like aluminum, I can't even give steel away. So if, if you're thinking about steel, you really need to look at aluminum. It's the way to go. You can see here, we've painted it. Um, when we polish a little tube, you could paint it, powder coat it, rhino line it, you can do whatever you want. Um, it's it's metal, it, it paints, right? It's no big deal. So, um, same with the rockers. These are our mini boat side rockers. Now, you know, this has the longer one on this for an LJ, of course. And I don't know if you saw, but we uh, we cut a cool little hole in there and round the exhaust out the side. Um, that's one of our, our little uh, things that we do. And you can see, you know, now that we're under here, how flat the belly is, how, how straight the control arms are, how the drive shafts are tucked way up. I mean, this is, you know, this is all high clearance. You know, you wheel something like this, man, you can go a lot of places. So, uh, super, super fun. And I always tell everybody, everything you see is in a spot and, and is designed in a way that is no accident. Every single thing is on purpose. So, um, don't assume that we just happen to do it that way that's that's never the case i've probably had of every part on here i've probably had 10 renditions over the years and uh this stuff is dialed for sure let's see what else we got oh yeah people are asking how we folded the ramps so um these ramps these ramps are a pain in the butt and they're coming off the moment i get home um, because what I know is, if my Jeep can't climb this high to get on the trailer, then I'm leaving that son of a bitch home. So these ramps, you gotta pull everything forward and then fold them down and then back everything up. It's a total pain. So um, yeah, this is the last trip these ramps make. Oh, the other thing, speaking of last trip, this is the last trip that these flares stay on here. It's officially getting the Genrite flares. Um, we left these on here for a period of time to make sure that the JL market could identify with what we've done, and uh, now we're ready to put our Genrite flares on there. So you guys will see that happening here pretty quick. Uh, let's see what else we got. <laughs> Laura's asking where her wife can buy her Genrite parts. <laughs> well, good thing, Laura, your Jeep's already built and it looks great. You got your Genrite cage in there and yeah, I think you're set. You're set for a while anyways. Um, Jimmy's going to order some stuff. Uh, yeah, everybody likes that the flares are the next thing, so that's cool. Um, what else? I do have, by the way, 
a best top track top for my JL as well. Um, we're gonna we'll be showing some pictures and stuff when I get back uh, for this next week of what that looks like. Um, yeah, I'm super excited to kind of have this finally done, and uh, it's really working good. And uh, looking forward to getting out to Trail Hero um, and you know seeing everybody and wheeling and just having a good time. So. Hopefully a bunch of you can join us. Hopefully Rick Harrington can make it. I know Kelly's going to be there. Peter's going to be there. A lot of our regular Genrite guys. And hey, by the way, don't be intimidated. You're, you are welcome to join us, okay? We, we go out there to wheel with other people. So um, by all means, um, track us down and join us. So we're, we're hoping to have um, a new thing coming here that we're going to launch before Trail Hero. So um, it'll help everybody better keep track of where we are and what's going on and what trail we're running and all that stuff. So I'll, I'll give you some more info on that this next Wednesday. Uh, let's see what else we got here. I think we're, we're doing pretty good on questions unless you guys have more questions. Um, so the, the longer rear flares can fit you know, again, you can see here, so this is a 40, right? And the longer flare will come down, but what happens is, is it's it's starting to, right here, it starts to turn. So the, a little bit of the flare is going to hang off the back. So you got to, you know, depend, if you're really particular about that sitting flat on the metal, um, if you're running a 40, this is kind of what you get, because that's trimmed to fit a 40. So um, you just got to think about that. But yeah, for the most part, you can get that on there as well. Um, we also, by the way, um, I don't know if you ever saw it, but we make a mud flap. You take off your D-ring and a mud flap comes over here and hangs down. Um, those are great for people who have those laws that require tire covers. So check that out if you get a chance. Uh, let's see what else we got. Rick Harrington's saying he's going to need two or three wives to uh, help pay for his Jeep. I guess they're, they're saying he needs to move to Utah so he can get more wives. Uh, okay. So Brandon's asking a question about you do not have to go with this top. You can run a factory soft top, factory hard top, whatever you want. But everybody always asks me about this stinking top. And by the way, I got one more thing to tell you that should blow your freaking mind. The aluminum roof is underneath that top, right? So this is a frameless soft top, and our aluminum roof fits under that, and that's been on there the whole time. So um, that is that is really cool that we were able to make all that fit, and uh, it's really nice. And I, you know, again, we just put some brand new PRP seats in there. I mean, this this thing has really gotten a makeover, and I'm I'm super excited to get that thing out there too. <laughs> Rick's donating plasma now so he can help get some more money. <laughs> that's pretty funny, Rick, because I'm I don't think you're short on money. So that's good though. It's funny. All right. Um what else we got? Um i <laughs> thank you. Safe travels. I appreciate that. Um again, if you tuned in late, we got some brand new. I got some brand new cool goodies from uh the, the ball joint deletes the uh, American iron and uh, these things are really nice and uh, now they make them so that they can be pressed in instead of weld in and they make these for these are Dana 60 but they make them for the 44 and uh, they've also by the way if you haven't been over to their website you should check it out they make a heavy-duty knuckle they make a lot of stuff they're they're coming out with more and more stuff they're really just kind of ramping up um, and it's a it's a company, American made, and you know somebody to keep an eye on. So um, Josh, super nice guy. If you get a chance to talk to him, and uh, he was out there the whole time in his booth. So it was it was fast and furious. What's the win? So um, bubble to bubble on the on this one is 84. So um, that's that's kind of where these fall by the time you get. 
get 40s on them and you're able to articulate without hitting the shocks. So, yeah. Let's see what else we got. I know most trailers are 82. That's why we've got a trailer like this to drive over. Tom's talking about his 392. Totally cool. is, you know, this Jeep was built a long time ago, that were, or the axles were purchased a long time ago. So these are 67 inch wide axles, where now we run 70. But the difference is we run a deeper back space wheel on the 70 inch than we do on the 67. So um, that's, that's how we make up for the distance. And then the bubble ends up the same on all the vehicles. So, but it's also how we can run the bigger shocks on something like our JK or JL suspension. We can run the 3.0s and still clear everything. So that's all I'm All right. Um, if we don't have any more questions, I'll, I'll give everybody a couple minutes. Um, otherwise, I, th I think we're going to wrap it up. It's uh, time to get back on the road and get some more miles in. I'm trying to get in like 800 miles a day. We've we got a long way to go, and I've, I've got to be back by uh, Thursday evening. So. It's been a heck of a trip, that's for sure. Um, I think we've got just about everything. It's it's awesome. I really appreciate everybody tuning in and, and hopefully, you know, showing you some of the new goodies and uh, the stuff that Genrite's doing, talking about the event. If, if that's, you know, in your, even remotely in your area, um, it's one of those things that uh, you should definitely go check out. Yes, you can get a Curry 70 front end with RCVs, no problem. Um, right now, all of the axles that, that we buy um, in stock, because I we stock these axles, um, all come with uh, the electric locker. And um, the, we just didn't have any luck with the air lockers, so now we're spending it. So, uh, and then the RCVs are just an add on. I do have to forewarn you that RCV is way, way out on delivery. I mean, they're, I, I don't even know what's going on there, but um, I know, you know, a lot of uh, raw materials like rubber for tires and some of the metal hasn't recovered since COVID. So, um, be patient if that's what you want. Call in, talk to my guys. Probably the best. He's got RCVs on his. Talk to him about that and the electric blocker and stuff. Uh, let's see what else we got. Yeah, Kim, you're welcome. Uh, thanks, guys, for the drive safe. I appreciate that. Uh, <laughs> somebody else is rethinking the three fives. Yeah, one's definitely enough. through Monday so if you're thinking about any Genrite parts get on there it's the sale is only on Genrite parts obviously we have other stuff on our website but it's on the Genrite parts so definitely uh, take advantage of the best prices in five years so all right everybody I appreciate you all for watching and uh, you know we'll be back next Wednesday with a bunch more techie stuff when I'm back at the shop